And if you analyze the different strategies between, you know, at, at, at miners and get some, some, um, some common aspects around that, you can probably divide it into two distinct areas. One is productivity and the other one is sustainability. And productivity for me means really getting, um, you know, getting more from the same. Whereas sustainability, on the other hand, talks a little bit about um, getting more with less. So if you think about what's productivity, it's, it's uh, the things that would be, that would be uh, throughput, you know, um, at the plant, plant availability, uh, those, type of, those type of experts. Whereas sustainability is more focused on your efficiency, your energy efficiency, you know, water usage, and those kind of aspects, emission control and, and the reduction of emissions. So if that is what miners want, you know, and then to get back to your question, is that what are those things that's really going to disrupt it? It's probably going to be the things that talks to, to your sustainability concept. And I believe that the, the, um, you know, those, those uh, revolutionary technologies that will really cause a disruption is going to be focused around um, you know, a couple of elements. I think firstly it's going to be the uh, water, water usage, right? The, the reduction of, 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 of water usage. It's going to be energy efficiency. You know, also the footprint that you leave, think of tailings dumps, you know, the footprint that you leave there um, as, as a miner, you know, reducing the risk on tailings and, and, and your footprint. And then, of course, you know, applying the digitalization, um, you know, uh, artificial intelligence, big data, applying that effectively to operate um, um, in, in plants. Um, so I think those, the technology that it's going to cause a disruption is going to be structured around those things. Of course, in F.L. Schmidt, a lot of these, uh, uh, you know, in the entire flow sheet, elements that, that supports these key concepts that I've just mentioned is already, uh, um, you know, present in our product portfolio. You know, we offer, we offer solutions in, in that already. Um, sustainability is part of our core um, focus um, strategically, and, um, and, and we fundamentally divide our, um, our approach into two distinct areas. One is um, our ESG, our own um, Environmental Sustainable Development Goals, um, and that is structured around our, um, you know, our um, environmental footprint at our factories, you know, our own efficiencies in terms of water usage and, and so on. And then secondly, it would be the, um, you know, the uh, social responsibility towards our people, our safety, you know, our uh, diversity um, and more. And then, of course, governance. Um, governance around our supply base, around everything that we do, um, in the way that we interact with, um, you know, with a microeconomic environment, and then the the second element, the large second large element, is all about the Mission Zero program, and that Mission Zero program is a little bit more focused on on um, you know our customer operations. It's about our technology, um, and um, you know I can I can probably talk a lot about that, but maybe you let, let me use a <coughs> a little bit of a tangible example. In this uh, in this process, you know, I think we need to be really bold if you if you think about um, sustainability, you know, um, um, and how we how we approach it. Um, in essence, is is uh, if I just use some example, if you think about a minerals flow sheet, right, some of the technology that Ethel Schmidt has got um, would be, um, you know, on your on your um, you know grinding, uh, you have you have up to like 35 percent better grinding um, um, in terms of uh, power usage. Uh, you have no steel balls in your in your grinding process with your HPGRs. I mean, uh, the 80% reduction of, of water usage again with your with your HPGR. You know, you can take that flow sheet all the way down to to your flotation, um, where we have the ref reflux flotation cells. Um, you know, um, up to like 35% um, less power. Um, you know, per ton of, 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 of product produced there, you know. So, so I can talk about the pump cyclins, um, you know, of course, which is my core portfolio, you know, about the efficiency that the, pump, that the pumps offer um, in, you know, to customers, you know, 10% reduction in energy, you know, for the same head and float compared to most of our competitors. So, um, you know, what that relates into is just, uh, you know, a, a great recovery of a product, great efficiency and if you, if you put all of these things together that we have in a portfolio you can easily get up to like 30 percent of, of, uh, of improvement just in energy uh, utilization on a mineral processing plant and if you think about the volumes I mean uh, it's, it's really one of the key commodities for a, for, a, for, a, for, a, for a mine operation is having that power available so efficiency 30 percent um, reduction that is absolutely phenomenal and, uh, and, um, and that is what the E. Schmidt offers at, uh, at this stage you know just to give you a glimpse on um, on, on the process.